All the stars that never were are parking cars and pumping gas. Hello and welcome to what? It's a TV show about music, don't you know? I'm Chris Strouth, and once again, I'll be your host. Today, it's our pleasure to bring you one of the finer noise pop ensembles in the Louisiana Purchase area. Their name is Saucer, and they'll do things with a guitar that you just didn't think could be done. Well, I, I guess that sounds kind of risque, doesn't it? You know, since we've found a, a new sense of success, we've had some talks with standards and practices, and they've told us that, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. So throughout this episode, we're going to be running various and sundry public service announcements. We don't have to. We want to. So now, here they are. It's Saucer. My name is Pete. Oh, do you want to do that again? <laughs> Pete, what is your name? <laughs> <laughs> well, my name happens to be Pete Chris, and I play the drums and saucer. Pete Chris. Peter Chris. <laughs> anyway, I would say that my favorite um, kindergarten dessert was, um, well, since I, you didn't really eat lunch in kindergarten. I just meant regular dessert here, <laughs> But man. they give you a little like, snack that's, that's why you're every, so skinny. every uh, afternoon, and I think it was a Hydrox. And then you had to take, you got to eat the Hydrox and a little glass of juice, and then everyone laid down on the floor and took a nap for about 20 minutes. And then you went outside and played Duck Duck Gray Duck. So, Howard, what's your name? Uh, my name's Howard. Chuck. And, uh, what do you play? Bass, guitar, so special, special effect. What your items. favorite dessert is? Who is your favorite monkey? Um, that'd be Bubbles the Chimp. <laughs> and, uh, I also like, um, <laughs> What's that other one? Um, so, Pam, who are you? I'm what? Pam Mala. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, where I came from, Wasted it wasn't <laughs> duck, duck, gray duck. It was duck, duck, goose. Me Fascist. Too. Me too. And I, I didn't play. Goose step? That worked As better. a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> duck, duck, goose step. Yeah, that's it, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. Ted's from New York. So anyway, let's talk about the record. You have a record coming out, don't you? Don't you? We do. Howard, you look scared. You look paranoid in the corner. <laughs> Jesus, no! <laughs> I am scared. Totally scared right now. Yeah. Everybody's like kind of like a like good, good amount of space. To yeah. <laughs> what to do with the hands? Don't want the alarms to go off. <laughs> He's ready to blow. <laughs> what to exactly. what to do with the hands? It's almost like we're on camera or something, you know. As opposed to just sitting around. In the restaurant the, waiting uh, for. Oh, hey. Peaceful confines of the roadside I inn. Think I just saw uh, walk by. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Black that was Ranger. the shapeshifter show. So anyway, Howard, since you're looking the most scared, <laughs> talk about the record. You have a record coming out. Uh, yeah, we have a record coming out on Spanish Fly Records. Uh, it's called Emergency Exits. And it's about hours worth of our music recorded over a long period of time at many different studios with many different big name record producers. <laughs> and uh, we like it. We actually really like it. Well, hell, I'll go buy it now. I think you'll like it too, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. I heard it. I like it. It's cool. There's testimony for you. Hi, I'd like to take a little time out of the show for a moment to talk about something that most people have a trouble differentiating between, and that's the difference between moderation and excess. So I'd like to do this with a little help from Matt. Matt, who's a co-writer on the show, you've seen a, a number of times. Thanks for coming on the show, Matt. And You're welcome. Out You're us. welcome, Chris. I do it for the kids. So an example of moderation. Ow. And, of course, excess. Ow. 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 Let's Ow. watch a little more saucer, Ow. shall we? Ow. Ow. Ow.
In my opinion, the best waffles are at the roadside inn. Waffles with syrup, blueberry waffles, waffles a la mode, Philly beef waffles, and that Middle East taste treat, falafel waffles. The roadside inn, 24-hour delivery, all the instant coffee you can drink, and for takeout, there's plenty of free off-street parking. The roadside inn. Hi, I'm Chris Stroud, the host of What? And I'd like to take some time out to talk about an important issue. That issue, it's trust. I'd like to do it with a little demonstration with some help from my friend, Matt. Matt, Hi. thanks for helping out on this little demonstration on trust. You're welcome, Chris. Say, Chris, I'm a little thirsty. Do you have anything I could drink? Why, as a matter of fact, I do. 409, you know, that looks very appetizing, except I've always understood 409 to be bad for you. Oh, contraire, it's quite the thirst quencher. Try some. Well, you know, if it were anybody else for, but you. Mmm. Oh my God, the pain! Remember, trust no one. I think we, yeah, we, we improvise a little in our live show and that, well, sometimes we improvise a lot. So people that sometimes say that there's a Sonic Youth influence might relate it's it It's usually people who don't listen to too much Sonic Youth. <laughs> they have their generic general knowledge of Sonic Youth. I say this is what, it's the closest thing that it relates to. So if you couldn't, uh, if you couldn't be Saucer, would you guys hang out together anyway? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know each other before we got together unlike a lot of bands get together because they were really good friends first, but we sort of didn't get together that way. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get together anyway? Oh, don't ask me. Ask Pam. Me. Don't ask Pam. Ask someone else. Ask, don't ask Pam. Thanks. Ted and Pam, I think. I'm, I'm just going to ask Pam then. Pam, tell me, how did you get together? 
Well, it started in the back seat of my friends. Uh, so, Ted, how <laughs> did you get together? Mm, it was over bowling, Pam and I. We got drunk, and I said, hey, Ted, do you want to be in a band? He goes, um, sure. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and then we just tracked down everyone else, sort of randomly. <laughs> Howard like, served me at Ragstock. That's how I found him. I was at Ragstock. And Where was that at? Ragstock. And uh, she came in, and I was really bored. Really, really bored. Did you really cut me a deal on clothes? Mm, not, the, not the sweet deal, but I'll give you <laughs> some deal. Damn. Wait. They accused me of uh, really, really taking a lot of things, though, that I didn't take. And they supposedly have to lock up a room where they keep jeans now because of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty proud of that. <laughs> so now, uh, so now what's, what was the most fun in uh, doing the record? Finishing it. <laughs> no, actually, maybe, uh, well, I don't know. All the time we got to spend in different recording studios, probably. Uh, where would you record? Uh, we recorded with Rich Matson. No. He's in a band called the Glenn Russells. We recorded in his laundry room. Wow. Right. Can you pick out the songs that were done in the laundry room? No. Right so next we to went. the hamper. We went and we recorded at the big studios, recorded at Terrarium with Brian Paulson, and we recorded at Pachyderm, the best studios you can get. And then we went back to Rich's basement because it sounds the best. We tried the real best, and then we settled. Well, we didn't settle for Rich. We picked Rich. We love him. And he's got a hell of a laundry room. So with this Fantasy Island thing, are you talking about being on the show as an actor or actually living it? Having a real fantasy. It? Having the, have, being really in it, not, not being an actor. Because okay. mm -hmm. you'd have to pick the love boat, because Fantasy Island, you don't get to take it home with you. I would pick the love boat, because like, say you could meet somebody on the love boat, mm -hmm. and you could take them home with you.
Hi, I'm Chris Stroud, host of What? I'd like to take some time out here to talk about an important issue, and that is the difference between nice and evil. I'd like to bring out my assistant, Matt. Thanks Hi. for helping out on this one, Matt. You're welcome. Matt, I'd like to do a demonstration of nice. Have a cookie. Why, thank you. That's very nice of you, Chris. You're welcome. And now evil. Matt. Ah! Oh, my God, why? Evil needs no reason, Matt. <laughs> well, that about wraps up this particular episode of What We'd Like to Thanks Saucer. Boy, I cannot wait to get that new record. And a special thanks to Matt. Well, Matt, you can get up now. <coughs> well, anyway, <laughs> we'll see you next time on What? This program was brought to you with support from Rev 105 Radio, the Radio Revolution, 105.1 and 105.3 FM, by Total Music Systems, Total Music for Sound Results, the Electric Fetus Stores, for music, clothing, and gifts, find it all at the Fetus, Gark Recording Studio of Minneapolis, Chris Strout's Wardrobe, provided by Tatters Alternative Clothing, Minneapolis.